What's going on, Pickers and Gritters? Tom here. Today we're looking at some Gary Rossington and some sneaky parts that he played that often go unnoticed. So let's kick it off with Call Me the Breeze, one of my favorite guitar solos. <laughs> So that solo alone has got some sneaky tricks and what I really love about it, and I think this camera is not quite down enough to show you some of the awesomeness. Here we go. This is better. You got this snappy intro. Oh, I just love how he twangs that whole thing. Oh. Then he goes right into major. back into minor and the major again. That's one thing about Gary, he's that honky tonk style, which I don't even know if it is a guitar style, but it's how he's often described as honky tonk. Mm. And then he goes right into the live version. He does a trill right here. And then in the studio, it was like this. But the more sneaky version is the trill. I find this very simple to do on the, the Gibson R9. It's got the fat neck. It's harder to do on those skinnier neck guitars. You gotta apply more pressure for the trill. Gary doesn't look like he's doing a lot of work, so doing it the lazy way. Just that fatness in the neck is going to enable, enable you to apply more pressure without doing a whole lot of work. And I love how he does this little walk up. So we've got the. Sometimes people just skip over that and say, I'm not even going to try and figure out what's going on there. But you just watch him. A little bit of that repeating. Going back in the major again. And then after that series of, we have a cool part, gets really sneaky again. Or, right here. I play it really fast, sounds really cool. And I used to wing this part, um, not really playing it the Gary way, uh, before really diving deep into Skinner. I used to like say, okay, I don't, I think we're just going down here, so. Something like that. But once you realize it, you, you gotta play this slide now. back into that trill. And then we're sliding up here to the 17th fret. And you can hear it on the record. He's starting off with the G and B strings, and then he's gonna start including the E string on the halfway through that whole progression. And 
And if you watch him do it at Old Gray Whistle Test, he throws in another cool little piece. He doesn't have as much gain there, so he's going. He does a little bit of a. You watch him play it. That is just loaded with sneaky tricks. Another song that comes to mind is Give Me Three Steps, and there's a few cool tricks in here. First thing you know about Gary's playing, try and play behind the music, but in time. It's kind of this concept of laying back, as he was known for. So. Anyway, he's got all those double stop solos in there. Some of the pieces that are really interesting is this walk down for one. Some people just play it like this. But if you want to add more of that Gary sauce, lay, lay the Les Paul wide open and just slide in and play the D and G string. Oh, that's got that sound, doesn't it? And then another part about these double stops, I'm playing them hybrid picked. So it helps you lay back more and get that authentic chop sound. So you've got that that choppy sound, sometimes people will try and pick it. But it's a lot harder to get that sound. And in the middle of the long solo, in, in that long, whole long middle solo, he does this cool piece that you, you gotta really listen for it. Live at Nedworth, you can see it, live at the Fox, it's in there. He does the solo right, the first part of the long middle solo. He does a little bit of this, I ain't the one. So he's hitting the A and then this C note right here. Let's do that again, because it's really cool. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Another part I love about this solo, uh, the second solo that he plays in the song, he's got this. I just love the sound of it. So. That going with that whole honky tonk accenting, and you get that piece where it's. And when he's playing that part, you got Gary doing some other fills. So we'll be taking a look at one of the fills right here. That's a really cool fill. It's simple. Very 
very similar to that. And some other sneaky things that Gary plays. Oh, he's full of these tricks. I think in Saturday Night Special, you get some smooth, soulful ones. Anyway, got that middle long so looking up. Well, if you listen to him, and while the rhythm guitar is finishing up, Gary's gonna put a little double stop. And so, the, some of the nuggets in there, ooh, so many. Ghost then double stops. With some vibrato. Now this part's sneaky because he's gonna do this bend on the B and go to the G. is dirty. And then into this little major minor showdown. Into another double stop type. Listen to that sweep motion. And when I'm playing this stuff, I am just kind of laying back. I'm not being up in your face and tense about. A Alan would be more of that up in your face with the playing. Gary's more of that back and slow. Oh, that catches you right there. Now, another part comes up right here it, when he's finishing that solo. This little. So he's mixing these minor and major double stops. He's gonna slide down and slide back in. Now, in this part, I uh, haven't quite figured out all of it yet, but there's a, there's a lot more going on than what I'm playing right here. He does a blend of double stops in the major and minor. But I love how he does a little bit of that major again. Yeah. And he lets that ring out forever. So those are some pretty cool Gary tricks. Now the last one I'm gonna leave you with is something that really took me by surprise in the song Searching, you know. The thing that took me by surprise was that ending solo where Alan and Gary are trading off leads. And you get this um, idea of Anyway, the 
ending solo. And then we got Gary going. And then Alan's gonna play. But anyway, right as Alan finishes that, Gary does this face melter. And it just slides right down, soulful and smooth. And I figured I'd just show you a little bit about that. And what's cool about it is, it took me forever to figure out what he was doing there. Because you don't see any videos of them play, you don't see any tutorials on how to play that part. You just see, you just hear it and you're like, you can't even hear every note because it's all happening so fast. And I just love how he starts with a double stop. And maybe I love it so much because I, did, I just didn't know what he was playing. It was like funky and fast and all put together. That's a really cool piece. And there's so many more parts I want to talk about. I'm probably running out of time today. We'd be just sit here for hours and talk about interesting Gary licks. So what I'll do is I'll make another video on interesting sneaky Gary parts as they come up. I'm just gonna be looking at some more other more interesting ones. And yeah, let's just march off into the sunset with a little bit of things going on.